We all want success, yet so many of us are unclear about what success is and how to achieve success. In this video, we look at the starting point in the foundations of being successful, looking at motivation. If you're hungry to succeed, then this series has been designed specifically for you, giving you tips and clarity on elements that make us successful in a given endeavour, and how to follow through to be successful. In the last part, we looked at the importance of proper planning and how to plan a project in detail, factoring in multiple factors to ensure it goes as smoothly as possible. Today's video will focus on motivation, which is important to following through to taking action and being successful. Before we go into motivation, let's just reiterate the parts that will be covered as part of this series. Number 1. Ideas Number 2. Planning Number 3. Motivation Number 4. Action and Number 5. Recycling Make sure to watch the other parts as the structure requires each facet to be applied correctly and if you want to see results to match your ambition. Now before we get into the concept of motivation, I want to make absolutely clear that motivation without action is nothing more than a meaningless waste of energy. Getting motivated can be highly beneficial, but if you don't follow through on the motivation by doing something to progress towards a goal, it will simply fail to serve any purpose other than to make you feel good for a brief period, after which you'll feel bad for not acting on it. So how can motivation benefit us? First of all, it's important to understand motivation, which is it's the reason people take certain actions, act and behave in a specific way. The reason it's important to understand this is because many, when talking about motivation, are talking about motivation in the short term definition of the word, whereby people listen to or watch something to give them a quick energy burst that gets adrenaline pumping and gives them a reason to take immediate action. However, it's vital to understand that motivation when understood properly encompasses far more than that. In fact, you can create a distinction between short term and long term motivation. Now I won't delve unnecessarily into links between the concepts and psychological concepts such as Freud's structural theory of personality, never mind the countless other theories that have followed, but it is useful to understand the two types of motivation. Short term motivation Short term motivation is what we often commonly understand as motivation as something that will get you in a state where you're ready to take action immediately. This is because whatever motivates you provides you with a short term reasoning and desire to take action, as well as physically creating chemical changes in the body to help you prepare for immediate action, mostly the rush of adrenaline you feel to act. This kind of motivation can be great for short term results, helping you follow through with immediate needs, but it's also quite an intense form of motivation that will take up a lot of energy. Due to this reason, short term motivation is beneficial in quick and immediate gains, but isn't sustainable for long term action, as it naturally leads to burnout. Long term motivation Long term motivation is described in many ways by various people. Simon Sinek refers to it as our why, some refer to it as a long term vision and others as purpose. Whichever term you prefer, the point of this kind of motivation is to understand why you embark on a particular challenge from a higher level. For example, I've stated before and reiterate, the purpose of this channel is to try and encourage and help people with long lasting positive change in their lives and to be an example to my son about the values I intend to pass on to him. This motivation isn't about my immediate goals, say to create this video, but rather a more holistic view on why I create all of my videos on the channel. While short term motivation helps you with immediate or short term goals and results, long term motivation is critical in understanding your reasoning for embarking on anything that you do. It's effectively your mission statement, your purpose for going into a long term challenge and what you ultimately intend to accomplish out of it. Where long term motivation can be particularly beneficial is in the push and pull effect. Short term motivation often pushes us towards undertaking certain actions, but long term motivation pulls us towards it, as it's the fundamental reason we chose to do what we decided to. So how can we use short and long term motivations to our benefit? 
Number one, habits. As already identified, short-term motivation can be exhausting. Knowing this, how can we utilize the benefits we gain from taking action from short-term motivation? Well, the key is to create habits, whereby we automate processes to help us maintain consistent progress towards a given goal. This is something I'll be covering in more detail in the next part of the series when talking about action. However, in this part, what's also important to note about habits is how they need to be controlled and managed. Habits are essentially built as a mechanism of our primitive mind. In prehistoric times, this was to eat, survive and procreate, meaning we'd have natural instincts to help ensure that those needs are met. Today, we build habits to help for other reasons, but we're still using our primitive minds when doing habits, meaning we do them out of instinct and automation, not necessarily from thought. When it comes to habits when working towards a goal, this can be highly beneficial towards making consistent progress, but at the same time, we periodically need to take a step back and reflect on our habits, reviewing whether they are benefiting our long-term motivation. For example, as a YouTuber, this would be to periodically spend time checking analytics and growth to see if the existing process of creating videos is garnering results we're satisfied with. If expectations aren't being met, then the habit needs to be adjusted or changed to achieve them. Number two, automate long-term motivation. We understand how habits can be both beneficial, but also detrimental to our behaviors. But equally important is to spend time automating your long-term motivation. Here, rather than setting up behavioral habits designed to help taking action towards a short-term goal, the idea is to set reminders towards your long-term motivation and purpose. There are multiple ways to do this, such as write down the long-term motivation daily or say affirmations. Personally, I follow Tony Robbins' morning routine, part of which is to spend time envisioning your future, during which time I like to spend time also reminding myself as to why I'm working towards that future. Put simply, the whole idea here isn't just to do something for the sake of doing it, but consciously think about why you are doing what you are. Number three, strengthen your brain. So now that we understand different types of motivation, understand that building habits can help reduce the intensity of short-term motivation and also the potential pitfalls of habits without keeping long-term motivation in mind, how do you actually make sure you're consciously thinking about the decisions you take when taking action? Well, the most effective way is to practice. Just like the body needs exercise for muscles to grow, the mind needs to be exercised for us to strengthen our cognition, willpower and mental capacity. For example, if you create a habit, as part of the habit, build a routine to spend time thinking about how that habit will benefit you on a given day when considering your long-term motivation. This means when you get into taking action, you don't just act on the primitive mind and mindlessly take action but instead make a clear and deliberate decision towards taking that action. Let's use exercise as an example. You might have created a habit of exercising an hour at the same time each day. However, to make sure what exercises you do are deliberate and with a clear purpose, before each session you start to exercise, you could choose to decide what you're going to focus on that day, such as cardio, the upper body or your legs. This means you still have the benefits of making exercise a habit, but you focus on what you're working towards in your long-term motivation at the start of each session. Motivation can be highly beneficial when working towards a specific goal, and understanding how long-term and short-term motivation affects us is critical in utilizing motivation towards taking action. However, the key word is action, as anyone can say a few words to get you motivated, but then not following up with action is meaningless. And this is precisely why we'll be looking at action in the next video. But in the meantime, I would love to know what you do to get motivated. Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this, please leave a like and share this with others as we aim to help people live life on their terms and subscribe for more content like this. Make sure to hit the bell icon to ensure YouTube notifies you of the latest content. Thanks for watching.